today I want to talk a little bit about timing the market. You know, that magical, easy formula, buy low, sell high, make lots of money, and then go about your business, right? That sounds terrific. But the problem is, all too often, the highs and the lows are impossible to predict. And for example, look at what happened with COVID-19. Nobody saw that one coming. Well, maybe some people kind of did. But anyway, nobody really saw it coming, and certainly not the impact it had on the housing market. So we had... We had remote workers that needed places to work, more space, decided to buy, or maybe they moved out further from their areas. And then we had this, in, this influx of millennial buyers that all hit this age where it was time for them to buy a house. You know, they had good jobs, starting to have families, they needed to buy a home. And, and then if you look what happened, the difference, right, between the people who were able to buy during that time and the people who weren't is incredible. I mean, the gains we have, the staggering, skyrocketing prices, record low mortgage rates. I mean, they 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 were kind of a once, maybe a once in a lifetime opportunity for people where they got in and they just instantly made a ton of money right away. And then the people who, and, and, and with home equity, and then people who didn't get in at that time, guess what? They're, they're left on the sidelines and rents went up. So for a lot of them, they had saved to buy a home under the circumstances similar to what they were used to. And then all of a sudden, everything changed. So all that money they saved and they weren't able to capitalize by getting a home, now maybe they're eating into that because their rents have gone up. Or maybe they can't save enough to keep up with the price of houses going up. So while they did save their money and they had it and they were ready, if they didn't act then, it got a lot harder to act when prices went up and interest rents rates went up as well. And then obviously the reason that happened was low inventory. I'm going to do another video. I'm going to talk about how low inventory is, how long it's been low, why it's low. But for now, just timing the market. I think the thing way to time the market is your personal your personal situation. Is it time for you to buy a house? If it is, it's gonna be a good move. It's gonna work out in the long run. Don't get lost in this buy low, sell high mentality. That's my tip for the day. Be sure to like this video and I'd love to hear your comments. So make some comments for me.